all alone Trying to hold this heavy load Tired and afraid That the clouds hanging round my head Wouldn't ever go away Jesus is Lord Every day and every hour In my darkest time He reigns with power He lives to shower me with love Jesus is Lord And His loving never changes in my heart of hearts, he will remain. Jesus is alone. Verse 20. It says, Now there were some Greeks who were among those going up to worship at the feast. And then there came Philip, who was from Bethsaida of Galilee. And they began to ask him, saying, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip came and told Andrew, and Andrew told Philip. They both came and told Jesus. And Jesus answered them and said, This hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. He who loves his life will lose it. And he who hates his life in this world will keep it to life eternal. Anyone who serves me must come and follow me where I am, and my servant will be there also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. So we're going to stop right there. And uh, the words that Jesus is telling is foreshadowing uh, the things that are going to come this week. And so uh, when I was thinking about what's going on this week and everything, I was thinking about how Luther... Uh, handled the plague back in his day. And uh, he had uh, a much worse plague than, than we have, although is, ours is very bad worldwide. But his uh, um, pretty much uh, wiped out 60% of the population back in that day. And so uh, Luther gives us some words to contemplate. Um, he says, with our eyes, we can realize that doctors are essential and experience teaches us what we can't do without them. But also scripture shows us that the practice of medicine is useful, it's comforting, and worthwhile. But it also points us to God because he created and established doctors. Right? And so he praises doctors and medicines which God used to heal us in this uh, world of ours. And he says, though doctors aren't infallible, uh, Luther nevertheless urges pastors to preach and recommend people to go see doctors. Some people back in those days, they thought it was, they had weak faith if they went to see doctors. And Luther says that's not the way God intended it at all. The written word honors doctors and pharmacists, which we can add nurses and technicians and specialists to glorify God in everything that they do. So when we visit a doctor, we shouldn't have lack of confidence in God, but we should go because Jesus was also a healer and traveled from city to city healing people. So we, we, uh, today we want to lift up all the, all the specialists, all those who are um, risking their lives, uh, all the doctors and nurses in the hospitals that are just working uh, overtime and, and putting in so many hours um, in, all, in all every day. Um, some losing their lives, some becoming infected as well. So we lift up all the, all the people that work in hospitals today. And so we add to our list uh, Mary, who has COVID-19, and Diane, who's going through uh, uh, cancer uh, healing, and uh, the Vandersall family, Don's older brother, and uh, the Sten family, and, uh, and Del, who uh, passed away. Uh, remember the Perkins family, the Barron family, um, Debbie, and prayers go out to our, our uh, small business owners as well. Um, pray for John recovering from a stroke, and Sharon in South Africa, and Phil 
and David with circulation problems as well. So, uh, so I invite you to pray along with me, and then I'll unmute you in a second. We'll say the Lord's Prayer together. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, standing on the threshold of the days and weeks ahead of us that are unknown, we take time to remember all your benefits in times past. In your providence, you provided us all the needs of body and life with food and drink and house and home. And your bountiful hand still enriches us with the sound and beauty of creation, the sights and sounds and wonders of this world. And though now removed, of many of the places that we are accustomed to going, you bring our lives together virtually and electronically with a new family and friends and neighbors and co-workers and colleagues that we can reach through social media. Whenever we hear people suffer from any types of diseases, um, we ask God to meet their deepest needs. So fill us each morning with your steadfast love so we can rejoice even in these disease-ridden days. Let the blessings of your divine pardon and life be so proud, profound for us that we never um, forget about being thankful. We still have undeserved grace. You've called us to faith and you restored us to being family. So whenever the disease is laying waste to our land, um, let your people gather around um, adding love and forgiveness. Let us all exalt in the realms of the endless day as we rely on your strength and salvation for each of us, each and every day. It's starting to rain a little bit. Make our joy surpass all the days of affliction in the well past of the many moments that we will endure. Deliver us from every sin and error and evil and deceits of the evil one. Direct and defend our, our medical authorities, all those serving in government. Safeguard our doctors and nurses and guide them in the way they should go. Sharpen their skills, soften their hearts to care for the weakest and even the most vulnerable among us. Shield our land from discord and strife. Move our citizens to set aside selfishness, to serve their neighbors for the best as all. And finally, give us all concord and peace. And may the days ahead await to greet us more and more in times of joy and gladness. Rule and govern your one holy Catholic and apostolic church, Unfold your truth, truth to enlighten us so we can understand these times of turmoil and tempest. Now I'm going to unmute you all. Here we go. And so let's uh, together say uh, the Lord's Prayer. Firm in your promises, dear Father, we now cry to you using the words of your Son. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 So, things are getting wet here. I'm getting rained on. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for joining us, everyone, and coming in. And uh, i got to get my computer out of the, out of the water here. I thought it must be blowing in this way. So, good seeing you, everyone. And uh, um, we'll be here back uh, here at 12 o'clock. Uh, who's that coming in? Is that Dan? All right. Okay, good. All right. So, 12 o'clock, everyone, every day. So uh, good to see you. Keep checking in on us. Come in, um, and uh, we will see you uh, next week. i got to get out of the rain here because my computer's getting totally wet. All right, so we'll see you, uh, we'll see you tomorrow, 12 o'clock, same time, same, same, same channel. All right, you guys have a blessed day. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. All right.